learned from my reading of the legislation, um, I mean, I didn't write this, but this is just a kind of gray area. Um, it says right here that phones and their contents shall be considered personal property protected by the Constitution of San Andreas. Mm -hmm. And that absent exit circumstances, a law enforcement officer is required to obtain a word, search warrant to be the contents of a phone or a SIM card unless the phone card was abandoned and or no longer in use by the original owner. That's not the case here. If this was robbed, um, it's still her personal property and it's required to be returned to her. So if Crook failed to turn see... that in, isn't he in possession of stolen property currently? <clears throat> well, it says here that he was given this information by an anonymous source, which means that it, which doubly means that all this is basically useless because it's effectively all hearsay. So. Yeah. So I'm probably just going to not even... I'm just going to write a report about this, actually, is what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then I'm going to see what information I can get out of crack. Okay. All right. How many pages did you say that was that? Uh oh. Uh, one sec. Was it, was it actually 268? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I've got so much to catch up with Angel on. I've got so much. 262. What the hell? Is that in like size 73 font? Or is it like... Is it just photos and stuff? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I haven't looked through it yet. He did make a tweet earlier today that was like, Have you been arrested by uh, Sky Fay or Jimmy Frost? Uh, give me a call. That's okay. All right. Didn't I see something else about Sky? I feel like I did. I feel like I saw a report. What was it? Hmm. Maybe don't. Oh, they, they robbed her shit. Oh, fuck. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, Sky have to make her own report? I think no way. I no way Sky had to make her own report. My game crashed. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. God fucking damn it.
I still won't get over the fact that I don't know where this fucking DJ Dawkins name is in my head from. Like, where the fuck did I read that last stream? Maybe I just read DJ Cooper. I'm thinking I just read DJ Cooper. I must have just read DJ Cooper, man. That must just be it. It would make sense if it was DJ Cooper. That would make it was the only thing that makes sense. Okay, give me two, two seconds. It clearly has a colorful blast, yeah. I just don't know where I would have seen that. I did go through a lot of reports the other day. I went through a lot of reports. It could have just been like a, one of those random reports that I went to. And she could have been in one of those. The mental... <laughs> what the hell? You know how I can check? I can search by criminal... Or and charge because i was searching for criminal possession of a class one and if i recognize the report bing bang boom hey guys how you doing buddy Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to talk to Angel about bread. Now that I finally got Angel, I want to tie it down. Okay, hold on. I want to talk to Angel now that I've got her and talk to her about everything that I wanted to talk to her about for like a week. Oh, Doc was a serial killer for a second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Are you okay? Angel, could you, um... Could you take the cigarette out of your mouth and put it back in for me, uh, or something like that? <clears throat> Whenever you can. You don't have to do it straight away. <laughs> I can't even see you, Dark. What? Yeah, Did I can't see you. Nope, I don't uh, see you. Hold on, let me go outside. Go outside and come back in. Oh gosh, I'm in the upside down. Hello. Hello. You need Hello? to remove your mask. Your face looks strange. There you go. Hello. Are you okay? I'm doing okay, thank you. I just wanted to pass by and inquire more about the marshal. I oh. spoke with a clerk named Sherry. Oh yes, Sherry, she's lovely, isn't she? Yeah. She certainly is. Yes. She told me that the requirements were extensive LEO staff experience. And you were hiring for shift 2 and shift 3. Um. Unfortunately, I don't think... Uh, 
meet the LEO requirement. You don't think but so? I can or? learn quickly. Oh, okay. Um, I don't really have any experience, but. Well, I can I'm not. Learn I'm not the guy to talk to. I'll be honest. Um, I see. Yeah, I'm not really the guy to talk to. <clears throat> Is there any more clerk inside? There's not a clerk. Um, I mean, the director's around, but I think I she might be busy. Yeah. Um, do you, want to, do you want me to go ask? I'll, see if, I'll go see if she's busy. If she's busy, don't try. Can you see me now, Angel? Yes. Uh, there's someone here to inquire about the monsters. Should I tell them you're busy or... I'm busy. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Miss, uh, was it the killers? Uh, That's correct. Uh, yeah, the, the directors are very busy right now, very busy lately. Uh, best to come back another time when there's a cloak around and they can give you some more information. That's fine. Thank you very much for the assistance. No problem, Sarah no Dad. problem. It's All lovely right. to see you as Marshall. Thank you so much. I, yes. I really appreciate that. You must have been quite hard broken to quit the, this part department, haven't you? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a difficult decision, but, um, you know, I think it was the right one for me, so, uh, yeah. I feel you. you Have a nice day. Don't feel me. I'm, I'm married, okay? Uh, 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 Take it easy. I, I'm only attracted to your son. Uh, sorry. The, the, the husband of your son. Ziggy? Ziggy. Um, Don't get me all confused. You know, he works, across, he, interest me in your he works across the street, you know. Although, if I were to be interested between you or Doc... Oh, sorry, you or Rhodes. Rhodes look a bit more attractive than you, frankly. Okay, yeah, you can... You're loitering now, you can get out, Jack. <laughs> My apologies. How rude now. Oh. <clears throat> uh whenever you're whenever you're done, I do have some um inquiries. because uh, I haven't really seen you in a week, so um <clears throat> What are your inquiries? Um, I, well, I mean, I, I, I never really got to ask what, what happened with, um, what happened with Brad, Dad? <clears throat> uh, turns out he never left the besties and he was lying about it, so we fired him. Yeah, that, that adds up. That adds up. <clears throat> yep. So, uh, I had a chat with Soze. Soze's like, yeah, you can't trust the guy. Get rid of him. So I was like, yeah, you're right. Time to go. Um, fair enough. Yeah, um, right. I mean, did, did Tex fill you in about what we saw down at the, uh, little soul? He did, yes. Yeah, okay. And then about, okay, I can't blame Pro for this one. But what happened up, uh, the, the hotel, the motel, the abandoned motel in Sandy? Yeah, you hear about that? Yeah, I was aware of all that. Yep, I was aware yeah, of all that. Was, that was a messy situation. Now, geez, that was bad. It was okay. pretty bad, but, um, it doesn't really matter now. It's in the past. Yeah, it's in the past. Okay. Um, well, I, have you been filled in about what happened after Pred got fired at the Marshall building? Yeah. Uh, no, what happened? Um, so, Pred did a drive-by on the Marshall building. Uh, um, him and his goons from the besties pulled up in a, in a cavalcade or a grangey type car. Um, and then I think it was him, he must have hopped out because his gun came back for it. And he did a drive-by, um on the front windows and poor leah was in the reception office so good job it's bulletproof windows otherwise she could have died uh and then they drove off uh i got the the, the coppers down here to come process the scene um mm -hmm. which they did and then later on i was on the phone uh on the roof for a little bit 
um and then i i hopped down it must have been like 30 seconds prior and i look i was at the by the back doors and i look up on the the lower roof and i see a guy with a mask so i run to the ramp that goes down to the door by city hall and i get on the radio um because i think it's only me and cal around so i get on channel one um and i say i need back up down at city hall there's people trespassing at this point i see six masked men as, as they're stood on the lower roof or they're on the electrical box at the back of the marshall building so they must have seen me on the roof on the phone and they've come to nab me um so they must have either seen that i'm not there anymore or seen me on the radio or something and they start dipping anyway pd fantastic response i watched them running down the little pathway that goes under the stairs all the way to the front like opposite the electrical store uh, a pd unit pulls up they get in the cavalcade again and they take off now then a pd pursuit starts me and cal like we're just chilling at this point um then we hear 78s um shots fired they go to the cubby at little soul uh, and they start shooting police. Uh, I later learned that they started saying this is for Richard Dark or something like that. Um, basically, this is all it's all Pred. It's all Pred still. Because earlier that day, uh, Pred had called me up in the morning <clears throat> uh, and was basically like calling out all this crap. He's now saying, you know how we didn't do anything when he was off duty um, with the, all of his equipment. Uh, and he was, he, when between me, him and Tex, he was like, well, you know, that wasn't illegal. But now he's fired. He's saying that was illegal. Um, saying that, you know, we have no integrity for not charging him for that. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, he, he just says whatever. Fred says whatever he needs to say in the moment. Um, so he's he, he's basically just coming after us, I think, um, in whatever way he needs to. Uh, the best use word down here this morning. Uh, there was a, a small group of them outside. I don't know what they were doing, but they drove off when we got back. Um, anyway, they started shooting up police. That's when I emailed you about the drone. Um, so we went down there to assist. Um, what that situation ended up being was so many PD went down that members of the besties kidnapped PD members and traded them for members of the besties. Um i think six members of the besties ended up getting warrants including pred uh and pred is the only one still with an active warrant <clears throat> okay so yeah it was a kind of a crazy situation uh but it all stemmed from that drive-by and following attempted kidnapping so yeah Jeez, so that's okay. why i've launched the counter investigation into the bestie you know it's not even it i didn't even launch it i'm just carrying it on from what you asked me to do before <clears throat> yeah i mean honestly we should continue through um yep honestly like uh i think that warrant should probably get extended for quite a bit longer i completely agree i completely agree <clears throat> um that's a, that's something else i wanted to ask you because i think king uh we're talking to king about it a bit today um mm -hmm. warrant apprehension is that something that's going to be within our purview as marshals yeah. nope Damn it. No, not not really. No. What about if she's like? Isn't that a huh. isn't that a TRT's thing? I don't that's, actually know. That, what that, that's TRT what their whole. Is. <clears throat> that's what the whole thing was was like hunting down people with warrants and shit. You know. Oh shit! I didn't. Yeah, maybe it is. I I don't know what TRT. I thought TRT was like a SWAT thing. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they do. They they do SWAT stuff. You know. Oh okay. Well, oh, map. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, Derek, sorry. There was I'm a bug on your head. I had to it. Oh. Right. All right. Um. Okay. Uh. What about? Sorry about that. Okay. So. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on that. Oh yeah, about that. So I was. I started this besties investigation. I got a mm -hmm. a little bit of a older dossier from Larry Johnson. Um. It was back back from like May. So it's got some uh info about the besties that I've started adding in for that. I'm just gonna use it as like a stepping stone. Uh. It's just gonna have like basic info about uh members. It's all gonna be unconfirmed stuff. Anyway, I went in there this morning and I noticed that uh a new marshal, DJ Dawkins, has added in some stuff. Um 
does DJ Dawkins does DJ Dawkins have a history um director? Yeah, she used to be a uh, she used to do a bunch of uh, gang shit. Well, not gang shit, but she sold weed with a couple of gangs. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Listen, just like I told uh, Pred, I'll give the opportunity to anyone to turn their life around. DJ is very committed. I don't know if you noticed, but she's been basically uh, filling out everything that she knows from her past life into our dossier. No, I, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. 100%. Unlike Pred, she's actually committed. She's been honest. She's told the truth. She's giving information forthcomingly, and she's not conflicted. So no I don't foresee any issues with her. No, no, no. I, I, I don't need that. She's doing what to... Pred should have done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Um, yeah. Um, also, I feel it. I feel a need to be forthcoming as well, uh, mm -hmm. because it, it kind of started when Pred wanted to meet over the road at the park. Um, ADMC rolled up and were like, "Get out the park! Get out the public park!" Richard Dark and Marshalls. I was with a cow. Um, we haven't done anything to them since then. Other than go to like we went to the park once. Uh, since then, um, a few things have happened. They've been doing burnouts in front of the 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 place. Um, one of them tried to steal my car out back, uh, an unmarked cruiser, and I chased him off. But he was running to the block, so I it was just me and Cal, so I didn't do anything. Uh, what else? We had a gunshot go out out back uh, that was like at the ground. So we're thinking it might have been like um into like a pool of gas or something uh, but we didn't see any residue so it might have burnt up um and to me it just sounds like they're asking for it let's just launch a full-scale investigation and then <laughs> it's it's okay if this is the song you want to do man i think we should you know if they're gonna be trying to fuck with us i think it might be t high time to have a drone over their property 24 7. okay uh well that's what i was gonna get to um my son-in-law, uh, Ziggy Bugs. Uh, do you remember Ziggy? I do know him, yeah. He's a member of ADMC. Um, and my okay. Ziggy's daughter, so technically my granddaughter, um, Rue Minmi, uh, she's also a member mm -hmm. of ADMC. Now, that's not going to stop me from doing my job, but I feel, felt it necessary to let you know. <clears throat> I, I appreciate you for disclosing that. It's very kind of you to do that. And a good idea. I don't think it'll be an issue either. All right. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, Rue was coming here asking Sherry. I had to come down here from PD because Rue was over here asking Sherry whether this building was flammable. Um, uh, yeah, and then of later course on... it is. Every building's flammable. What a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had that gunshot later on. So whether or not that was her trying to burn the building down, I don't know. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need your help, Dark. Yeah. I need to move one of our APCs away from here to a private parking space for tactical responses. So here's the reasoning, all right? Um oh, well, in, the, a... in the case that City Hall or this place are ever to be taken over by gangsters, we cannot get our APCs together here. You know mm, what I mean? We need like a so we need to have one. Yes, <clears throat> we need to have one APC that's stored off site. So if uh, Olympus does fall, then we can shut yes. up and secure, re-secure the area with the APC. Basically, put oh, one on reserve. Yeah. We need a safe so house. So can you assist me with that? Yeah, we can. We can get one of those. We can afford one. We just yeah. gotta buy it, really. So. Uh, yeah, I can assist them. All right, let's do it. So let's let's uh, mount up. Uh, you get a car. Just follow me. I'm gonna go park the APC. Okay. Roger that. You need to the spider on your shoe, ma'am. Spider on your shoe. <clears throat> Yep, you're good. I got it. I don't see it, Angel. <laughs> uh oh. I don't You're see it. Up. Me? I might need to. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm
<clears throat> what else did I want to ask? Oh, one of those guys doing. I wanted to ask about. Ooh, fuck, Dominic Hans. Well, I was after AU Storm. Shit. That is not a good time for me. <laughs> Fuck him. We'll figure something out. I did not write any notes during that uh, Maggie investigation. Uh, Maggie one. I'm going to have to go through the, the VOD on that. Wait, is James Rue a criminal now too? Um... Maggie's mad, probably. Well, I'm just doing my job. Bridges get burnt. It's a unfortunate thing. Hmm. Oh, criminal. Looks fit. Specifically. I am through that hurts. <laughs> so when the time comes, none of them get killed by the club for hesitating to shoot dark. Yep. Listen, if everybody hates dark, there's going to be no problems, right? Ooh, I got a phone call earlier. Oh. Hey, Richard Dark. How's it going? Hey, Piers. Not too bad, mate. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Are you with any uh, martial equipment going missing? Martial equipment going missing. Mm -hmm. Um, not that I'm aware of. Oh, Why? Okay. Well, you know, fucking people are out there selling martial drones on the streets. They're selling martial drones. Yeah, it's interesting. Martial. The watchers can't even watch the streets. Who will watch the watchers now? If you, you guys selling don't martial drones watch. and just not normal drones. Who will people watch sell, the watchers now? People who sell normal drones. Is there a report about this yet? Uh, no, I don't even know if I'm going to do one. Of course, you're, gonna, you're not going to do a report about the Well, I was off duty. I went to an auction as a civilian on my off duty time to see what was going on on the south side to try to branch out and be a part of the community. Okay, I'll, I'll call you in a second, Peter. Thank okay. you very much for this information. I'm getting the gate, Angel. Hold on, yeah. It's fucking gate, I got it, Jeff. Hello, this is Tyler Peters, currently on duty, was not on duty during his civilian trip to the south side, where he in, did not investigate and find that uh, a, a Marshall drone was sold for two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Holy shit! That's a lot of money. Okay. Um. So it was just at the 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 the, the pawn shop, the best cheese pawn shop. Uh, I don't know if I could divulge that information. Peters, come so, on, man. Sensitive. Very sensitive. Okay. Well, we probably need to have a talk. Okay. Okay, we'll have a talk, okay? I'm going to need you to come down to interrogation. Okay, sure. Let me, um... 
Okay, I'll uh, I'll bring uh, I'll bring the director with me. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. I'm gonna make a sandwich in the uh, interrogation okay. room. We'll, we'll be down in. Uh, we'll, we'll be down when we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on down. Okay. Interrogation room, both you guys. <laughs> okay. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. You're crazy. Fuck you you okay, guys? Yeah. We're okay. You just you just having a look at the APC? Yeah. yeah. We are. Ooh, the hotel, I like it. Gives me like fucking Dead Island vibes. I like it. Uh, hey, okay. Angel. Yep, just got a concerning report. Oh, I don't know who that was following us. Uh, they were just look. They were just uh, googling the. No, that's not the word. Uh, I don't know what the word. They were looking at the APC in awe, and mm -hmm. I think yeah. Um, okay. anyway, it's got a concerning report. Uh, we need to go down to Mission Row. Um, okay, from go. Tyler Peaches, you know, that guy? Mm -hmm. Um, he, he said he went to an auction off Duke G. I believe he's talking about the, uh, Besties auction that just opened opposite, or down on, uh, Carlson Avenue, I think it is. Uh, um, kind of by, I can't remember, Brogue Avenue. I think it's Brogue and Carlson. <clears throat> on that corner um anyway he just said that a marshall drone was sold for two hundred ten thousand dollars. yeah civilian drones have the same livery so it's on ours so some suckers just some suckers just bought that for two hundred ten thousand dollars for yeah but there's no identifying markings that make ours that... nope <laughs> Okay, well, let's go entertain this poor idiot anyway. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go take a look. <laughs> I am investigating Peters um, for shooting into a crowd of people at the state fair. Um, and he put a member of ADMC into the ICU and the complaint's been made. And currently Peters is the, well, he's the only person, he's the only officer named as listing discharging his firearm into well during where the crowd was so i'm gonna have to interview him at some point that i <clears throat> might as well do it now I might as well might as well do a reverse what's that what's that game with the cards uh, reverse and or, or uno reverse i do it uno reverse that's a good one yeah <clears throat> do you know who that was following you by the way you have any idea? um one of them was wearing that monkey mask uh and i always think of flippy when when i see that monkey mask but i don't think i didn't hear him um so no i don't know yeah i wouldn't be surprised if it was flippy actually there was a guy in like a cowboy hat as well like one of those pointy cowboy hats yeah but no i have no idea they kind of pulled off pretty quickly after dorset though they didn't follow on dorset <clears throat> that's good I just understand why they were like pitting you and shit. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I, they were a bit. For one second, I thought they flew over the edge where in that corner. <laughs> and yeah, I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't know what about this uh, drone shit there is to really say because like it's not ours. It just has a just has some writing on it. I mean, our drones about, are way cooler. Okay, what about they if are it different? Was for the record, they are different. Well, it's not. It's so nice. What about if it was? It's not though. What about if it was printed? It's not. I took all of his stuff and I searched him and I removed his keys before he left. So. Yeah, but what about if he stockpiled? I. Uh, you can't. I have a log of everything that buys everyone who buys everything from the armory. Genius. Genius. Sir. That's how I know it's not. They say, you know, I bought like 500 rounds of ammunition. 
Yeah, I know. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> it was an accident. I thought I was buying individual rounds and not boxes. Uh. So where are we going for this? Interrogation, I think. Okay. <laughs> you earlier by the way Hi. Oh, you did, is, it, is it true you can hear our phone calls peach said that she was talking about toilet paper the other day and now she's getting like all these ads that's classified that's classified information oh, you were flipping new one it's that 5g <laughs> again we got places to be okay, yeah. okay. we can't oh, discuss no classified information oh my God, peach, they can what do you mean I hope they're checking out the cameras in the locker room. I swear. <laughs> okay, they're watching us. Oh. Step into my office. Oh, go ahead and have a seat. Hey, Peters. Hi, Angel. How you doing? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? I've been better. I got some bad news. Hey, what's the bad news? Um, no command around, right? So I couldn't get approval to go off duty mm -hmm. or to, to go undercover. So <coughs> are you I'm okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking on cereal. Hold on. Joking on cereal. <coughs> you know the <clears throat> Hamlet angel I I do not know it. He's probably going to yeah, die here. That. No. Why is my bowl of cereal right there? Um. Oh, God. Sorry about it. I didn't eat breakfast yet. Anyway. So I couldn't get approval to go do any undercover stuff. So you know what? Mm -hmm. I decided I would do mine. My civic duty is a uh, citizen of Los Santos and kind of go off duty and attend a, uh, uh, a criminal auction. Well, I didn't know it was going to be a criminal, but attend an auction as a uh, citizen of Los Santos. I go down there, you know, I'm kind of like expecting, uh, you know, maybe, maybe some weed, maybe, uh, Maybe some stolen coins from the cash exchange is what's being sold down there. I get down there, right? Every single motherfucker from the shift one uh, criminal underworld is there. <sighs> right? Just the, uh, the absolute evil in the room scared the hell out of me. It was disgusting. It was so disgusting. I can't even <laughs> look at you guys in the face. Why are you looking at the wall, Petey? <sighs> I just said it was disgusting. It made me sick. Anyway. I go down there. Everybody funnels in. There's about 40 people in this pawn shop. Brogue and Carson. Are you familiar with it down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Familiar with it. Uh, I believe it's... uh owned by forehead and when i showed up a mr uh uh mr santana arush arush santana code name speedy mm -hmm. uh he uh i heard him announce that he's like part owner of whatever's going on down there so we funnel in um like i said every there's probably about 40 people in there kind of like every mastermind from the criminal underworld shift one is there uh from the vagos to um speedy chris king love more future uh lizzie mcconnor a bunch of people i don't fucking know uh they end up starting the auction the very first the very first auction or the very first thing they auction 
send it to you. It's, it's me? No, I said I'm going to send it to you. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because I don't recall being auctioned off recently. <laughs> <laughs> You send it to me as well, please, yeah. I already am. Thank you very much. Do you see that? Uh what am I looking at? Oh fuck, that's just sorry that that's I was just a just picture of you. Yeah, that's I was making people. that that was I was trying to make sure my makeup looked okay. Hold on, wrong picture. That looks pretty good, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, send it to dark. Then let me send it to you. Okay, tell me what you see in that picture. I see a man holding a flashlight. Very good. And a microphone. Apparently, uh, that flashlight was Slax's flashlight from before he went into ICU. I'm assuming they robbed him because they had interesting his full loadout for sale. Uh, flashlight, taser, um, a few other things. Hmm. Uh, baton. Uh, moving down the list, the next item that went up was uh, two Molotovs. Uh, $30,000 for those. I can't remember what the baton and flashlight was. I started writing this stuff down, and I took pictures mm -hmm. of, of a bunch of the stuff, but then they kind of fucking... Uh, they started grilling me about having a phone, so I had to put it down. Uh, a Glockatron 9000 ended up going for a hundred grand. Uh... They had PD spikes along with a money printer that went for 30 grand. He's they, had okay. a, they had a four pack of pistols. They looked, I mean, it looked like a 1911. I couldn't get a good look, but I'm assuming it was probably like a civilian weaponry. Went for 30 grand. Um, they ended up selling a, what they advertised to be a Marshall drone. Or uh, $210,000. Yeah, that's impossible. Why is that impossible? Because we've only got one drone. And it's in my locker right now. Wait, what? It's very likely they just sold a civilian drone. That's not um, true. Because right now, civilian That's drones have the same uh, police That's not true. Them as Marshall drones. <clears throat> Angel, can I, uh, can I speak to you outside real quick? You really think it's sure. about are you so you're hundred percent sure you you're, you guys are the only one with a drone? Uh, oh no, I mean civilians have drones, but no, it's like not that. a Marshall drone. <clears throat> Angel, <clears throat> okay. what what's that? Oh, what's that? You've only got one drone. Like there's only one yeah. drone. Yeah, I've only got one. What do you mean? Give me only one. The only one that I'm aware of. I've I've got one in my locker. Okay, well it's not on the registry, so get there. They gotta like sign out your equipment when you buy it and stuff, you know? Yep. Yep. I forgot about that. I forgot that was part I for, I thought that was just for the guns and the rest of the stuff. I didn't realize that was for drones as well. Uh Okay. Well, listen, it's uh, it's not one of ours, so it's really irrelevant. So. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to... <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's probably just a civilian drone that they sold there. <laughs> okay, let's cut the bullshit, Angel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not your <laughs> average cop. What loose end do you have in the marshals? I, I don't have any loose ends in the marshals. No, none. Do you think you got a solid? You got a pretty solid team. One hundred percent. Yeah. How's Fred doing? I don't know. He's fired a long time ago. Don't know what he's getting up to these days. 
Okay. Is this an interrogation or like? No, I don't no, it's not. I'm not interrogating you. I mean, I'm just trying to do my police work. I figured you guys should know because this kind of seems like it would be up your alley. I mean, to me, it just sounds like somebody got scammed for two hundred grand. Okay. Well, uh, moving forward, uh, they did also auction off a class two as well, uh, AR fifteen. I don't know if it was police issued or not. I couldn't get a good look at it. What? Probably yeah. was. I know that the uh, police ran into an issue and lost a bunch of class twos about a week or so ago. Oh shit, Jack. You're sure? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just speculating. Okay. Well, I figured you guys should know. It's probably you know. just PD class twos. Like, you How know, much did that go for? Me, no? The class two, I think it was over, uh, something over 100 grand. Okay. Oh, not good. That's just uh that's just uh kind of like uh what I wanted to tell you guys. Uh I you appreciate know. you letting me let me know. Yeah. Do you wanna give yeah, us the phone number so we can have this turn to the looking or? for? Please you go there oh, you go there. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So anyways, you have the report number? <laughs> uh, nope. This was done off duty. This was done as a, a, a civilian. This was done in my civilian time. I went down there as a civilian, not done on duty. I figured I should come talk to you before I did anything. It literally oh. just happened. I got you. Okay. Mm. We appreciate that, but yes, we really do. It's very kind of you. <clears throat> Yeah, thanks for letting us know. I mean, that's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know if this is a police report or not. We can't deal with it. Uh, well, considering you did it off duty, um, it would just be a basic civilian report. I mean, the information is still admissible, you know, as long as it's traced back and whatnot. So, I'm not trying to get murdered by Marshall drones. Marshall drones can't do what? any of that. <laughs> Talking about putting C4 on that thing and flying in, into a building and fucking oh, going 9 11 up in this bitch. Yeah, here's the thing. Marshall drones have a very long-lasting battery. Civilian drones do not. So I can assure you that you're not going to have to worry about that thing C4 bombing someone. You're telling me that somebody can't tape a Molotov to it and fly it into something? They could, but it very likely wouldn't do uh, the damage that you think but it would. But it is possible. Technically, sure. I'm not trying to lose my hair. I mean, if you got hit by a Molotov, you'd probably lose a lot more than your hair. Yeah, but that's all I care about getting fucking losing. Hmm. What's, what's print there? Um, I didn't see him. Could have been. I have no idea. Hmm. Did they, um, did they sell a, a controller with the, uh, the drone? uh i couldn't get a good look at it i'm sure i'm sure a controller came with the drone i don't i mean i don't know i mean it doesn't even matter because they could just go buy one from click levers if they needed one no oh, yeah i suppose you're right it's where uh, most people could just get these mm -hmm. okay all right please well uh thank you very much uh please Nate, yep. could you could you take a seat for us please yeah uh? Yeah, we we got some questions for you. Okay. All right, Peter. Um, we are going to be asking you some questions, but um, I'm just going to read you your. Uh, you know, let, let's let's get this on recording, shall we? So. <clears throat> Really appreciate you coming down here to uh, talk to us today, Peter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, this is State Master Richard Dock. I'm joined by. Could you both state your name for the record, please? Yeah. <clears throat> Tyler Peters. Rachel. <clears throat> 
Uh, what? You want me to say my it's, name? You state your name for the record, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. Director Brittany Angel. Um, badge number triple zero. Perfect. Uh, all right, Tyler. Um, well, thank you for talking to us today. I I'm just going to read you your Miranda rights really quick. So you do have the right to remain silent. If you do or say can, and we'll be using Miranda rights, lot. not Garrity warning. We don't uh, have that here. You do have the right to remain silent. If you do or so say <laughs> Garrity warning doesn't apply. We don't have Garrity warnings yet. Okay. Wait, am I under arrest? Nope. Nope. Am I You're currently not... being detained? Nope. Then why do I need my Miranda rights read to me? Just for covering our ass. I'm just asking you some questions that may be incriminating, so we'll read you Miranda rights. <clears throat> you know the deal, you're a cop. Okay, listen, I know my rights. Well, okay, that's I'm not gonna work for us. That's not gonna work for us. Why? why? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read, read your rights. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read them here. Okay, you do the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one be appointed to the by the state if available. Do you understand these rights? They've read them to you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Would you like an attorney present? <clears throat> um, what's it in regards to? Uh, it's in regards to the state fair that happened. Uh, let me get the date oh, for you. Oh, uh, okay. The 26th of July. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we could talk about that. Okay. You happy to answer questions that at an attorney present? Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Um... All right, China. Well, thank you very much for uh, answering some questions with us today. Um, so, Tyler, could you just, um, just for the sake of, uh, you know, ease here, could you just tell us what happened on the 26th of July at the State Fair, uh, especially regarding the incidents that happened um, with the stabbing and the shooting? <clears throat> uh, yeah, so obviously there was a fair up north. Yep. Uh, there was a fair up north. Uh, we're on high alert as uh, in fear for an attack coming into the fair. Um, my point, I was appointed to Andy Guard's uh, personal uh, kind of like uh, escort. And um, I, I ended up following her around. We were, uh, in, in regards to the stabbing, we were in inside... Uh, the booth when chatterbox came up and stabbed an individual um my weapon was already drawn just uh kind of in expectation for something to happen i opened fire i shot chatterbox three times and then he ended up uh running and attempting to evade and then barrack shot him Okay. Uh, so chatterbox. So you were in, you were in a booth. Okay. Uh, and then, yes, so chatterbox ran up uh, and stabbed an individual. Yeah, Chris uh, King. So was that like in the middle of the fair? <clears throat> yeah, it was. Uh, it was about ten yards in front of me. Okay. Uh, so you witnessed the stabbing happen. You raised your weapon and you opened fire. Okay. Was mm -hmm. uh, was there anybody between you and the the stabbing victim? And well, okay, no, there anybody wasn't. between you and chatterbox? No, nobody in between us. I had a clear shot on. Okay, how many people were were in the room? In in the actual room? Yeah, in the you know in the fair. I I don't I don't recall. You know, was, no it, was it busy? Was it busy? <clears throat> um, yeah, it was busy. It was busy. Okay. Uh, was there anybody behind Chatterbox behind Chris King when you opened fire? <laughs> um. I, I I can't remember to be hundred percent honest. Okay. Um did you check to see if anybody might have been in the crossfire when you opened fire? <clears throat> uh no, I kind of just reacted at that point. I saw Chatterbox raise his weapon and it tried to open fire to incapacitate him before anything happened. Uh, 
uh how many how many rounds do you estimate you've had into chatbox you said you said three initially but uh, uh i know i know i know i struck him at least three times i think i, I took five shots you took five shots okay <clears throat> Okay, so uh, you shot a chair box. Was he, when you were shooting at him, was he like in the process of like running? So was it a moving uh, target? He was in the process of stabbing. It was in the process of stabbing? Okay. Yeah, and, and all while this was happening, another gunfight broke out inside the uh, fair. Okay, and if I, if memory recalls from that report, there was Susie Carmichael, is that correct? <clears throat> that is correct. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Um, all right. So, uh, so Chatterbox, he, but he wasn't, he wasn't like incapacitated from your gunfire. He was no, like, no, he ended up, I mean, he ended up, so he, uh, I ended up clipping him. I opened fire. He was standing still. He then tried to run. I ended up clipping him and he fell and then he ran upstairs and there were people in between us. So I couldn't open fire again. Okay. So you saw him while he was running as well, just to clarify. <clears throat> uh, yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So the the other shootout. So that that took off straight away. Um. Was that was that other individual? Can you recall whether they were also shooting at Chatterbox? Yeah. Susie Carmichael. Yeah. Uh, no, she wasn't shooting at Chatterbox. She was shooting at a, another man who ended up getting into cuffs. Okay. But I don't know what happened with that. Okay. Um, do you know if there was any other individuals injured other than Chris King and the individual that Susie was shooting at? <clears throat> um, I did see an individual down next to a booth who uh, might have been shot as well. Okay, do you know who they were shot by him? Uh, no, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just taking notes really quick. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, Peters. Well, I don't know whether I have any more questions. Uh, uh, you've been very open and honest with me, which uh, I think I've always got that from you. So I, I very much appreciate that. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, do you know if any other officers uh, opened fire during this incident? <clears throat> mm, I, I don't. I, I am unaware if anyone else opened fire. I did see another officer with their gun drawn. Do you know what officer that was? No. I can't recall. Okay. Do you know what other officers were present? It was uh, primarily just BCSO people. I BCSO. mean, uh, under Sheriff Cassidy was there. Um, yeah, he's the one that I remember most. I know Bruce was there, but I don't know if he was on duty or not. Hmm. Okay. Uh, was it possibly? Was it possibly Aspen Gray? Uh, yeah, Aspen Gray was there. Okay. All right, I'll have a chat to Aspen, see if she uh, discharged her firearm. Okay. Uh, all right, perfect, uh, Peters. For now, uh, this will do. Uh, we may be in contact for further questioning, uh, but for now, um, yeah, this will be this will be it. Uh, Interview is going to be suspended at 1807 BST. All right, Peters, thank you very much. Yep.